Cobra here, welcome back to my channel. So for today we're back with another video on Mecha Domination. So a lot of big people have been asking me, how do you get your uh, your beasts, your dinos to red uh, level, tier, whatever you want to call it, without actually spending a ton of money. Now for this, there's a lot of ways, but I'm going to be honest with you, there's no super quick way. This is going to take some work if you're not wanting to spend any money, but it is doable. So, the way you're going to get them to red, because as far as I know, you cannot get anything past gold or orange, whatever you want to call it, um, from any sort of events or anything. So, you're going to need to tier it up. So the way the tiering system works here, we'll go to, say, my... Missile Mammoth. I know this is not what it's called. It's a Scorcher. I nicknamed it this. If you go to Alter and then you hit this little down arrow, it'll show you all the other ones you have. So, in order to get red, you need to max out this right here at the top. You can see there's two stars that each have six little things in them. The first one is going to take one gold to tear it up the second one is going to take one gold to tear it up for the first three and then the last three on the second one take two golds so you need other than the starting one you need a total of i believe comes out to 15 more of these gold guys in order to get it to red now that's a lot of work especially if you know you don't know how to do it now doing the math in order to get a gold one it's either five purples that you fuse together or 10 blues. I'm not going to go over greens just because if you, uh, if you're still capturing greens, you're probably jumping ahead trying to think about reds. Um, my get, I haven't done the math. I'm guessing around 30 greens would be a yellow orange. Um, so you can see here, like with my mammoth, I've got seven of them. Once I get to 10 of those, I am, I'll be able to hit this little uh, quick alter button and it'll just turn it into a gold one which I confuse into him and it'll give me that next little gold thing. Like I said, 15 of those is going to get it up. Uh, you can see I've got like this one right here. You can see once you get to the last three, it now requires two of that one in order to get it up. And then from there, if you're trying to get even higher, you can see on this one, Right now it's costing me four to get this up any further, just because this is now a red one star beast. So it gets harder and harder, uh, but it's very possible to do. If you go out here, easiest way, you have a uh, 200 energy max. You can just search for anything. We'll do uh, level 18 of this guy and we'll go uh, capture him. So I got a minute while we're doing this. Um, basically this is going to give me either a most likely a blue but with a chance of a purple to capture that's going to be your base way of getting it like i said 10 blues equals one gold so doing that it's going to take 150 tries but the purples are going to help a little bit other ways you can get it from this little beast well i clicked the wrong one from the quick hunt uh doing your advanced hunt especially you know and there's a chance of getting these purple ones and there's also a chance of getting these, the Omni parts, which 10 of those can then be fused to get a gold version of any of the SR dinos, which is basically the majority of them, except for the ones that you can either buy or get through events. Now, realistically, oh, there we go. So we got our Scorcher, I'm gonna hit the capture, and it's level 18, I'll use this one. So I got a blue. So you just do that a few times until you would get enough to go up. But realistically, the ones you're going to get red first if you are completely free to play. This one is probably a more likely one. This is the Doom Lord, just because there are events that come where 10 times a day instead of the Beast Lair, which is right here, so the Beast Slayer, you can see, will give you a random, uh, a random purple or blue one. 
the Dune Lord event will change to where you're guaranteed to get a Dune Lord uh, every single time, in addition to a chance of getting others. So that one's really good to then tier it up, and the more you do you, up to 10 times, you also get more of them. So this guy I got completely free to play just by doing that event. Um, I did have to use these tokens for like the last one, but that was about it. So he's gonna be probably the easiest to get free to play. Other than that, um, my Mecha Kong here, AKA Caesar, um, he's another one that's pretty easy to get red just because you're going to get him from, in addition to like the login thing in the beginning, uh, which I do recommend you try and get as many of those complete as you can. Uh, the first, the seven day event when you first start, if you get all the way, you get a good amount of these Caesar tokens that help. Uh, also from doing advanced hunts, you have the chance to get one and you have the chance to get parts of one in addition to every 100 points. So you get five per advanced and you get one per normal. Every 100 points, you get a Caesar token. So just by doing those, you can also get it. And if you're wanting more, you can buy them. So you've got a limit there, but you can buy them there. There's a few other ways of getting those tokens. That's another good way to do it. Um, you also have a chance on Beast Lair. It gives you either a blue or a purple. You do that up to 10 times per day. Um, that gives you a random one though, so it's not quite as good if you're trying to grind for one specifically. But it still, you know, is helpful. The other thing that's really good, there's two more, or two of them, I, they're not currently going, so I can't show you any of them. But um, every once in a while when you're fighting these random dudes on the map, uh, it'll start an encounter. So it'll spawn a random dino and it'll say encounter, you rally it with your alliance, and if you kill it, you're guaranteed at least a, I believe it's either a purple or a gold of that uh, particular creature. So if you find one of those, that's one that you want, make sure to do it because, you know, a purple or a gold is worth the rally. Um, that saves you a lot of time in the long run. And then there was an event uh, with the beast market where it would trigger escaped ones which also did the same thing you do have a limited amount of time for those uh, or like a limited amount of tries i believe it's 10 per week but those are very good ways of getting either gold or purple um, that's kind of just a little breakdown on what will get you the different creatures it's a lot of work honestly you can do auto capture as well, where you just set it and you just let it run with all the energy that you have. You know, you can use these things to regen it, but um, that's pretty much what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to grind a little bit, but it's definitely very possible. Like I said, um, Dune Lord here, I got completely free to play, as did I with uh, my Venom Fang and then the, what is it, the Pydrodra. All three of those I got red completely free to play the other two well yeah i did spend a little bit of money but uh, those ones i don't even know if it's possible to buy so definitely grinding can get you these red ones you just gotta be willing to actually put in a little bit of work and really pay attention to the events um, one more tip just yesterday there was a capture event where there was an increased capture rate i believe like 20 percent extra capture rate and double the chance of a purple spawning instead of a blue when you go to capture one. That was exactly what you would need. In those days, one, you get points for the event by doing it, and two, that's when you want to spend all of your stuff because you have a higher chance of capturing them and a higher chance of getting those purple ones, which will then allow you to, you know, get less of them because getting five is much easier than getting 10 in order to get a gold. So, hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you have any other videos you want me to do, let me know as well. I'm happy to do videos for you guys. My goal here is to help you guys learn the game better, make it a little bit easier and more fun for you. So, uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'm gonna be put, putting out a lot of videos. I might also put out some early access Black Ops 6 content if any of you guys are interested in that as well. But I'll keep making videos for this game too. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.